Hi, my name is Sam Chance. I'm a principal consultant with Cambridge Semantics. We uh, offer a knowledge graph platform and I've been involved in knowledge graph technology since 2002 and I've seen a lot of changes over time and uh, happy to uh, share that knowledge graph is in vogue and um, wholly adoptable for your enterprise and we'll talk about knowledge card and how it relates to knowledge graph technology to help the viewer get a better understanding of uh, what we mean by knowledge cards and uh, knowledge graphs in general. An appropriate question at this point is what is a knowledge card? Um, simply put, a knowledge card is basically an integrated view of data that comes from potentially many sources. The knowledge card serves one valuable role as a, a, a way to abstract the details of all the different data sources from the user. The knowledge card gives the user a data-oriented view of some concept of, of interest and how the different attributes of the concept uh, relate to each other. So using the UBS example, you can see that the knowledge card is basically a depiction of the company UBS. It shows some of its attributes, high level attributes like phone numbers, addresses, and um, actually uh, other subsidiaries. So the other subsidiaries may be companies. So they have links to those which would similarly render a knowledge card about the respective subsidiaries. So when you have more than one knowledge card linked together, you could call that a knowledge graph. And it is precisely the knowledge graph that provides not only an abstracted view of data from many sources, but it provides a way for the uh, user to interact with information that is more conceptually oriented and it hides the details of the underlying data sources. So what powers a knowledge card? There, simply speaking, there's two major components, the model or the metadata, and then the actual data. So there's nothing really new in that concept, but what is interesting is that a knowledge card powered by graph technology and semantics provides a more human oriented conceptual view, but for the enterprise, it provides a convenient and flexible and adaptable approach to linking many data sources together. So the idea is to take existing data sources, whether they're structured or unstructured, and create a model, one or more models, because the models link together as well, and that represent the concepts in those data sources and their relationships to each other. To go a little bit deeper, if you use ontology, such as the W3C web ontology language, you have a means to create unambiguous knowledge. And what that means is, for the computer, it begins to have the ability to understand information and not just parse it. So uh, if you create a knowledge graph and you render a knowledge card, one of the questions that comes up is, how do you, is it possible to get new insights from knowledge cards? And let me uh, give you a little bit of uh, background before I go into that. And the, the, the situation now with gleaning insights, answering questions, is that a lot of time and effort is dedicated to data preparation and data searching. In fact, at least one industry analyst computes that percentage as 73% of the overall effort to answer a question is data searching and preparation. So the idea is if you use the knowledge graph, which can render individual knowledge cards, then the user can answer questions on demand. So you use ontology to describe and relate things, and then you map the data to that ontology, and then the users 
effectively query the ontology and the data comes along with it, but that data is coming from different sources. So the first thing that's happening is we're changing the nature of an analyst or user's job from hunter gatherer to apply more cognitive uh, faculties to answer higher order questions. In other words, the system is doing the hunting and gathering and connecting all the data and the users simply ask questions. So from an insight generation point of view, A, they get through the analysis process faster and B, the, the knowledge representation itself excels at representing relationships and characteristics of those relationships. So for the user, it means that they begin to discover how concepts and the and their area of interest are related. For the machine, the ontology backed knowledge graph approach provides a new set of reasoning services. In other words, the, the reasoners can process the knowledge graph and make implicit information explicit. So this actually can yield new data in the knowledge graph and answer new questions. So from an automation point of view, a lot of auto autonomy is being enabled using the knowledge graph approach. So how is this possible? First of all, if, if you've been involved in graph and uh, semantics for any amount of time, you understand that the uh, compute intensity is greater with, with graph operations. You get a lot of value, but there is an expense. With, mat with the advent of big data, and massively parallel processing technologies, we now have a means to implement, deploy, and maintain knowledge graph-based solutions that are cost-effective. And the way we do it is, is our, we have a query engine that scales horizontally on commodity compute resources, whether they be physical or virtual. So technology is no longer a uh, inhibitor to wide-scale enterprise scope use of knowledge graph technology. If you're interested in learning more or seeing it in action, you could reach out to us at Cambridge Semantics and we'd be happy to uh, give you more information and show you some demonstrations. I sure do appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you.